This is JCISD literary consultant, Megan McCormick. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Yeah. Thanks. This Thank is your you. first time. It is. It is. So thanks for having me. We're happy to have you. Thank what you. What is going on? Well, we are excited to share that we are having our second annual Jackson Reads event. Awesome. So last year we did a, our first event, obviously, and we were we were motivated by the pandemic and really thinking about how can we get books into the hands of children. And so we came up with an idea. We had some opportunities to pull some resources through our JCISD Learning Services team and the Great Start Collaborative. And we had a drive-through event at the, uh, at the fairgrounds at Keeley Park. So students came through and, and we were able to distribute books. It was wonderful. Well, this year we've had a couple mini events, but we're excited to have our kind of culminating event mm -hmm. next weekend at Ella Sharp with uh, Museum Days in conjunction with Museum Days. Wonderful. That's How great. can people get involved or participate? So the best way to get involved is just be a part of the community and come to Museum Days. So um, Ella Sharp as well as the rest of the county, but Ella Sharp certainly has so much to offer. It's a free county wide event for all so nice. you know if you don't have to be a member to to attend and we'll be there the isd and the great start collaborative our jackson reads network will be there and each child birth to um fifth grade will get a bag of 10 books wow. you know there's there's kind of a magic with 10 it, it helps to reduce the summer reading slide it helps to okay. we're hoping it's going to continue to help to eliminate maybe some of the uh pandemic loss, learning yeah. loss yeah. from from so uh, such, you know, challenging school yeah. situations. So uh, the, the books are grade specific. So if you have a birth to two year old, you'll you'll get books that are specifically um, devoted to that and all the way up to fifth grade. Wow. In conjunction with that, we have um, four of our authors will be there providing presentations oh, wow. and doing book signings. They're some of the authors of the books that I brought here today. And oh, wow. the museum has all of their uh, exhibits open, very child friendly. Yeah. Um, it's just really going to be an, an exciting, an exciting day. The library will be there. The bookmobile will, meet, will be there. So. And so you're, there's going to be uh, t like 10,000 books you're giving away. So if we're hoping that we'll have a thousand children come through, wow. each child gets t 10 books. So it's incredible. Yeah. It's, it's incredible. We've been putting, we're starting to put the bags together and um, there's books everywhere yeah. at the ISD right now. You know, it's, it's crazy that it's May already of mm -hmm. 2022. So we're talking already about a few summers learning loss. Yes. I mean, we're already going into a new summer. What, uh, what happened? Did kids kind of maybe put books down and just keep the iPads in their hand? I, I think it was just opportunity, limited opportunity, mm -hmm. limited access to school. There was the you know fear of going places and, and doing yeah. that. But, but even so, even families that, that have books, we can always use more books. And we definitely want to ensure that we're outreaching to families that might not have access to books or, or opportunities to provide books to their children in other ways. And I, I would have liked to have thought at the beginning of COVID, like, oh, we're going to have all this extra time. You know, I'm going to mm -hmm. dig in and just become, you know, a literary genius and read from end to end. And I think we all had the best intentions. We were just talking about, like, <laughs> even humankind, right? Right, right. The, the thought was, we're going to come out of this bigger and better. And in some ways, we are because of resources like this that you and your department had that forethought of, how can we get in front of this and then continue it is a really positive thing. We are so fortunate. We are fortunate that we've been able to allocate money towards this. And then as it's grown, we partnered with the Y this year. We had two mini events nice. um, with them in October and in January. And so they've been a great partner and the Great Start Collaborative and our you know ISD special ed uh, department as well as our learning services part department. And we've been able to write some grants to provide all of this. So it's really just a group effort to try to really provide the best for our kids in the community. Yeah, a lot of hard work going on behind the scenes and we're noticing these collaborative efforts really are what make uh, the community such a strong place. Yeah. And, and, and to your point, that's really what's brought the opportunity together is through COVID, how can we provide resources 
to students, and hopefully it will just be an ongoing an well, ongoing effort. And I feel like you guys are kind of the superheroes behind the scenes. Like people probably don't even realize everything that you guys are doing to support the entire county and the districts. Can you speak a little bit to like let people know what you guys do? <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, I think you know we you know our our passion at the ISD, especially in our literacy department, is to really help children develop a mm -hmm. love of reading. So we can support teachers in that and in thinking about instructional practices and then opportunities such as this where we can bring partners together and and share mm -hmm. those those um, efforts so that kids really do love reading. We've got a little uh, promo clip. Let's take sure. a quick look at the 30 second commercial. Are you ready for an adventure? Jackson Reads presents Reading the Never Ending Adventure at Ella Sharp's Museum Days, Saturday, May 7th. This is the biggest book giveaway yet. 10 brand new books, each for 1,000 children, birth to grade five, plus fun STEM activities, a chance to chat with amazing authors, and much more for the whole family. All for free. Don't miss out on reading the never ending adventure at Ella Sharp's Museum Day, Saturday, May 7th from 11 to 4. There's so much uh, that's going to be going on on Museum Day, some STEM activities. Um, it'll be a full day. It'll be a full day, lots to do throughout the county, but certainly at Ella Sharp, the um, planetarium will be open, oh, nice. running. Um, shows throughout the day, the schoolhouse will be open. I believe the farmhouse will be open. They have exhibits planned that are child-friendly, interactive inside. The, as I mentioned, the library will be there. Our science consultant will be there doing STEM activities and there's STEM activities in one of the exhibits in the galleries. Oh, nice. Um, it's just that they'll have the popcorn machine up and running, which they haven't done since pre-COVID. Yeah. So, oh, wow. like the inaugural the in, the, free pop. <laughs> right, that free popcorn out front. So it's just, nice. and then uh, the library will be there. I think there's going to be a book walk. So you can just nice. walk the grounds. We're hoping after soccer, families will come over yeah. and we just, just an opportunity to explore something that others might not have access to. If the kids from soccer come, you're going to be out of books in an hour. I, get, I, I hope so. I love seeing how packed that park is I, on weekend mornings. We hope so. What a good problem to have. Yeah, right. To, that, that we are yeah. able to distribute 10,000 books. Well, I, yeah, hope, should, I hope you're right. That should be, uh, yeah, it should be fun. It's, it's going to be a busy day. I like this book here. The Swag is in the Socks. Yeah. Yes, that's one of our author books. Kelly Baptiste Very will cool. be there doing a small presentation oh, cool. and one of, one awesome. of her stories and... Um, I the pout, pout fish. Oh, see, I miss reading these kind of books. Yeah. Now we're into chapter books. Junie B. Jones and those types yes, of books. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. So uh, just just an opportunity. As I mentioned, the authors will be there to sign yeah. books and do presentations cool. throughout. The Y will be there doing Zumba, Zumba on the lawn for the oh, kids cool. a couple different nice. times. So just a really fun opportunity, a fun day for families. Very cool. What uh, Do you have any advice for parents that maybe... They haven't, uh, you know, pushed the reading, uh, you know, as hard as they should at home over the pandemic. Any any advice to kind of get that restarted? I think as much as we can get books into the hands of children and find a series or find a book of interest or a, mm -hmm. you know, a type, an author, that to to really develop that love of reading. We don't want parents at home fighting with their yeah. students, yeah. but getting the homeworks done done. So how can how can we? just sometimes even just reading too and showing how you're a reader in your life is, yeah. is so important. You need to be better at that. I think so. I think all, I think really we probably all do, a lot of us do. And we have resources throughout the county to, to provide books to those. The library is a wonderful resource yeah. and um, even with the online things that yeah. you can do through the library, you, you don't need to go there anymore to, to get those things. You can do it all remotely. Right. Yeah, that's incredible. Our library system is very robust. We are very fortunate with the service offerings that they have. When you were talking about resources, if, you're, if your kids are experiencing some type of challenge, I mean, is that usually something that is a parent calling you guys for extra help or is it the school reaching out saying this kid might need extra help or how, how do we best utilize your resource? Sure, the first, the first line of defense is working with that school system okay. because mm -hmm. they are there to support you and then we in turn get to support the school system. Got so it. It, it is a comprehensive system that 
um, but the schools are there and they will. They're doing wonderful things yeah. to support our students. But, but yeah. I think sometimes parents just have to be aware that they have to ask. Yeah. Yeah. You know, sometimes you don't know what you don't know, so That's true. feel free to approach the teacher and the school system. And mm -hmm. Great advice. Thanks yes. for uh, coming in. We look forward yes, to seeing thank you, uh, so much. you and the team on Saturday again. We'll be it there. It is 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Ellis Sharp. Megan McCormick from JCISD, thanks so much for being thank with us today. Thank you so today. much. We'll be right back. More of the morning show after this.